And now, Lictus Oil and Propane and Climber presents Climber Sherman Panama Wolfpack Single Baseball by Play-by-Play Luther. Play coverage on the Channel 989 Sports Street and Channel 989.org. This broadcast is presented by J. Edwards Insurance, Panama and Jamestown, Mosier Carpeting and Climber, Land Pro Equipment and Climber and Falcon. Catfish Pallet and Wood Services in Climber, The Cornerstone Restaurant in Sherman, ClimberHardwareAndHomeCenter.com, Triple E Manufacturing, Triple E MFG.com, Countertop Solutions, and by Lictus Oil and Propane in Climber, LictusOilAndPropane.com. And now let's head to the field for all the action of CSP Wolfpack Baseball Play by Play. And good afternoon, baseball fans, and welcome to Clymer, New York, and on the campus of Clymer Central School as Channel 98.9 brings to you CSP Wolfpack Baseball uh, to playing host today to the Maple Grove Red Dragons. And uh, apologize for the slight delay. Uh, what we're finding out is that these games are going to start sometime between 4.45 and 5, 5 o'clock. And if we're not ready at 4.45, we may miss a batter or two. So, uh, let's give you the lay of the land. Uh, this is the second batter for uh, Maple Grove here in the top of the first. Uh, leadoff hitter for Maple Grove had a, a hard hit single to left field. Uh, and he's made his way to second base. So, uh, it's uh, second, uh, second hitter for Maple Grove. Uh, runner on second, no outs here in the top of the first. I'm Kyle Hinsdale. I'm joined today by my partner in crime, Pat Catneys, and a um, little bit of a helter-skelter start here for uh, for the announcing crew, huh, Pat? Yes, uh, we weren't prepared for this <laughs> quick quick turnaround, but and we don't necessarily have a roster or lineup for either team right now, so we're working on uh, working on that. So bear with us uh, as we work through this but what we can tell you is Gabe Roth is on the mound uh, it's two balls and two strikes to Maple Grove hitter and he hits a, a line drive to left field that ball's getting uh, cut off by Austin White and uh, runner from second advances to third so two hits here to start us off for uh, Maple Grove runners on first first and third with no outs and that's going to bring the number three hitter, McCall, up for Maple Grove. I think he's a big left-hander, isn't he, Kyle? Uh, he's a big right, right-hander. Yeah. He, uh, I bet he's who's pitching today. If you look on the roster there, he's a, I think he's their ace yes, right now. Yes, he is uh, He is pitching today. Big, long, lanky kid. Has a big, long yeah, stride. Yeah, he's a big, big kid. Number two who's on... Um, Who's on? Who had the last hit? McPherson's a big kid as well. So, listen, this is going to be one of the tougher games the CSP is going to have all year. So this will be a good test early in the year for them. And there's a foul ball into uh, somebody's yard uh, for uh, strike number one against uh, McCall. Game number three for CSP started the year off two and zero, uh, and looked to build off of that uh, today. Uh, I'm looking out there in the field. It doesn't look like Trent's at second. It looks like the uh, Tanner. Yep, you're right, Pat. So just to kind of give everybody, uh, looks like uh, Gabe Roth. You know, we know Gabe Roth's pitching. Uh, Grant Lictus behind the plate. Bryce Hinsdale playing first. Uh, Tanner Mahako playing second. Austin White at short. Tate Catney's at third. And there's a curveball just on the inside part of the plate. One ball and two strikes to McCall. Uh, we'll go to the outfield. Looks like we've got Dylan Michael in left. Yep. Blake Copta in center field and Caden Beckrink in right field. So traditional CSP lineup today with the exception of Trent Burchanowski. And uh, we'll try to get a report on uh, Trent's status. There's a ball high. Two balls and two strikes to the number three hitter for Maple Grove here in the top of the first. No outs. Runners on first and third for Maple Grove. Uh, 
And there goes the runner at first, and he's going to be no throw down. He's going to stand up with a steal, and that puts another runner in scoring position for Maple Grove. So Ducks on the pond on second and third with no outs here. <laughs> and McCall still up to, to bat. And if, uh, he's a starting pitcher today for Maple Grove, so he can help himself out. And after being up 0-2, uh, Gabe... Uh, loses the batter and gets uh, gives up a walk. So uh, bases loaded here in the first inning for Maple Grove. That's going to bring uh, Brisky, the number four hitter, cleanup hitter for Maple Grove to the into the box. And that's a base hit up the middle of the field. That's going to score at least one run. And there's a play at the home plate, and he is safe. That's an RBI, two RBI single for number 10, Brisky. And Maple Grove up early, 2-0 here on CSP. With still a lot of uh, danger out there with runners on first and second with no out. Not the start we were looking for, Pat. No, absolutely not. But uh, this is how Gabe started the game the other night, too. So, Or Austin started the game the other night, excuse me. So maybe yep, this will right. pick up the uh, intensity of the boys. What we know is CSP can hit the ball. So No balls in one strike. And that's a ball high, one and one to the number five hitter, Lombardo, for Maple Grove. And Coach Moreno wants to call a quick timeout here and settle the troops, get everybody on the same page. And while they take a break, we're going to catch our breath here. Uh, just to um, recap, you know, uh, CSP enters the game 2-0. Uh, Maple Grove enters the game, you know, I try to find stuff online for these teams, and it's difficult to find. Um, and what we know is is that um, they've they've played two games. Uh, they've also may have played two others, but there's no score to report. But I can say that they are at least two and zero, um, and uh, beating I believe Ellicottville and Silver Creek. So there's a common opponent in there, uh, which is Silver Creek for CSP and Maple Grove. So uh, after the meeting on the mound, it's one ball and one strike to Lombardo. And here's the delivery, and that's going to be a bunt. And that's a play. Ah, ball throw to third, and it got loose. That's going to score one, and it's going to advance all the runners. So not a good throw uh, to, to third base there and ultimately ended up in costing us a run. So it's now, I believe, 3 nothing. Maple Grove still with runners at second and third with no out. And if you're CSP, you just got to take a deep breath here, collect yourself, and let's get an out. That's the first thing is you want to get an out. Now there's a foul ball down the first base line. So Gabe on uh, Gabe ahead early on the on the batter. But as I mentioned, if you're CSP at this point in time, let's just get just get an out, get that underneath your belt, get yourself calmed down, and uh, see if we can fight our way back into this thing. And there's a swing and a miss by Vobros Voboski, number six hitter in today's lineup for Maple Grove. So Gabe ahead early. Oh. No balls and two strikes. And there's the pitch in the dirt. Good stop by Grant Lictus. Grant uh, for the third straight game, backstopping behind the plate. Did a really nice job there uh, with runners on uh, with a runner on third. Anytime uh, you got you have the risk of a pass ball and the run scoring. So really nice job there by Grant to. To block that. Uh, 
And there's a foul ball. Fighting it off, staying alive, way behind it. Uh, so if you're Tanner Mahako or Bryce Hinsdale here on the left-hand side, you need to be ready for a ground ball or some sort of uh, ball hit your way. We just got to get, uh, Gabe's got to find his rhythm here. And once he finds his rhythm, we should be in pretty good shape. Yep, a little change up there and Baboski way ahead of it. Uh, he fought it off, made contact, foul ball, and he stays alive. One ball, two strikes, three nothing. Maple Grove here in the top of the first inning. Runners on second and third for Maple Grove. There's a Got swing him. and a miss, strike three, and there's first out of the inning, the all-important first out of that first inning for CSP. So one down here, and that's going to bring number 13, Reinhardt, I think, to the plate. I'm reading, uh, trying to read other people's writing here. He turns to bunt, and that's a foul ball. Taking a play out of the old Bob Newton playbook. I was going to say, the sacrifice team looks like they, bunt on uh, Suicide Squeeze. <laughs> it's like they want to bunt the ball a lot. <laughs> And that's quite confusing to me because they started out hitting the ball pretty hard. Yeah. And there's a swing and a miss. Gabe up early, 0-2. CSP defensively playing uh, infield in, uh, trying to trying to limit the uh, damage here in the top of the first. And there's a strike three. Swing and a miss for out number two of the inning. So... Two outs here for CSP, down 3 nothing in the top of the first. That will move the infield back and bring number 12, Cornell, to the plate for Maple Grove. There's a ball in the dirt. Good stop by Grant. What I think you're seeing here a little bit, Pat, is, is that Maple Grove is pretty top-heavy, yeah. uh, appears to be pretty top-heavy in their lineup with, with uh, four or five really good hitters and then uh, maybe maybe weaker hitters uh, throughout the bottom of the lineup. There's a pass ball that's going to score a run and advance the runner at second base. Unfortunate for CSP there, but it's going to make it, I don't know if that's four or five four. nothing. It says, oh, four, yep. Four nothing now, Maple Grove here in the top of the first. Two outs with a runner on third. One ball and no strikes. And there's a swing and a miss with a fastball right down the middle of the plate for a strike one. Well, what we know about this team out there, you know, the CSP team is that four runs is not hard for them to overcome. No, uh, that's one inning, Pat. Yes, absolutely. All right. Here's the pitch. That's called strike for strike two. One ball and two strikes. To the number eight hitter for Maple Grove Cornell. Ball low and I Walked missed a couple pitches yeah, there. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that coming. So that's ball four apparently and that's gonna put runners on first and third for Maple Grove. And I believe the umpire called timeout. Yeah, They're trying to steal yep. first baseman, and I think there's timeout here. So we're going to have second or uh, first and third. Uh, lefty to the plate. Osty. Ost. I think it's Ost. Ost. Number nine. Ost comes to the plate. And if you're CSP, Pat, let's uh, you want to focus on the batter here, right? Absolutely. You absolutely. got two outs. You want to limit any more runs across the plate. Just focus on the batter. Let uh, let number 12 here, um, let Cornell, do whatever he wants to do, dancing around over here, get him to second base. That's fine. Um, what you want to do is really, and that's what you don't want to do. 
And that's going to get a runner to second. So again, this is um, not sure why we're focused on the runner at first, but. Yeah, we didn't need to hold him on. Let him go, like you said earlier. Let's let him go, get there, and we still got guys on second and third. Now yep. we got a guy on second and another run scored. And Maple Grove seems to be very, very aggressive tonight. So okay, we have to counter that with yep. something. There's a strike for strike number one. I believe it's one and one. Five nothing here in the top of the first. Maple Grove, two outs, runner on second base. Important, important batter here for CSP. That's a ball outside. Even in this situation, Kyle, I wouldn't have my second baseman and shortstop playing games with them. Let no. them get the lead off. Get to your spots. Yep, that's Be right. Be ready to play. That's right. Let's get this out. I hate to see a ball. And there's a ground right ball right, right up there. the middle. Here Blake Copta is going to come up throwing, and they're going to hold him at third. So we're going to have runners at first and third. Top of the order. First and third with uh, two outs. Really no harm there other than it brings the top of the order up. Right, right. And uh, so Luther for his second at bat of the game. Had a base hit the first inning. Led the game off with a base hit, stole second, and scored. Same situation here, Pat. I am not exactly sure why we're holding 11 on. No. Let him go to second. Yep. And let's get the let's get the batter. Yes, because you and I both know that percentage of get throwing him out at first. We said that the other night, and we did it. All it, all it does is create issues. Yep, and if that ball gets a little bit past Bryce, then that kid from third is going again. And what it's doing, Pat, is it's forcing your second baseman and your shortstop to want to bunch to the second base. Right. So now you got a lot of space between second or uh, third and, and let uh, just go. let him go. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we can get in our positions. So 5 nothing here, Maple Grove in the top of the first. Two outs, runners on second and third. Leadoff hitter for Maple Grove getting a second at bat of the inning here. And there's a straight called on the outside part of the plate. And there's a ground ball to third. Really nice scoop by Tate Catneys and a throw over to first gets him. So CSP gets out of the inning, but not until Maple Grove puts up a five spot on CSP. So it's five nothing Maple Grove after the first half of the inning. And we'll be right back after these messages. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance with offices at 9 East Main Street huh? in Panama and 800 no. West 3rd Street in James. His number's nine, J. Yeah. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Coverage of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is brought to you in part by Catholic Paladin Wood Services in Clymer, a leading provider of new heat-treated and recycled pallets and wood services since 1993. Find them online at CatholicPallet.com. Phone 716-355-4354. Catholic Paladin Wood Services wishes the Wolfpack the best of luck this season. Support for Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Mosier's Carpeting at 8631 East Main Street in Clymer. Mosier's has carpeting in all types of flooring, serving the area for over 27 years. Online at Mosier'sCarpeting.com. This broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Land Pro Equipment, the area's authorized John Deere dealer, located at 1756 Linquist Drive, Faulkner, and 8926 West Main Street in Clymer, online at landproequip.com. They specialize in agriculture, lawn and garden, and light industrial equipment. The Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream thanks Land Pro Equipment for their support. Well, welcome back to Climber New York and 
home of the CSP Wolfpack Baseball. We are entering the bottom of the first after a lengthy ha top half of the inning where Maple Grove uh, hit around and ended up putting five runs on the board. So uh, now it's CSP's turn to fight their way back. Traditional hitting order today for CSP. So we're going to see Austin White, Bryce Hinsdale, and Gabe Roth, one, two, three, facing the big southpaw for Maple Grove, number 18, McCall. So it would be important, Pat, for us to get some base runners early, try to create a little bit of pressure on Maple and I, Grove. And I hope that we come out as aggressive as, as aggressive as they were. I mean, they were they were flying around this field. So yes, they, they were. They were waiting for anybody to make a play or anything. So. Yep. And they were hitting the ball where we weren't. That's another thing. I mean, it wasn't like we had error. No, there was no errors in that inning. There's a, yep, they just right. hit the ball in the right spots. Meeting at the mound for Maple Grove, and we're going to get started here. But beautiful weather for baseball. I think when I got out of the car, it was 80 degrees and a little bit of a breeze today. I think next but week's going to be a little bit of a different story. Yeah, did I hear snow on snow Monday? Snow on Tuesday, yeah. <laughs> All right, here's the first pitch to Austin White. Lefty on lefty, which you don't see much, but he's going to see a lot of it today because. CSP's got a handful of uh, left-handed bats in their lineup. Austin White at the plate. That first pitch was a ball, so one ball, no strikes to Austin White. And there's a foul ball back into the fence. One and one. Good crowd today for a baseball game early in the year. I think everybody knows that this is going to be um, – you know, probably the top two teams in the league. So this is a uh, marquee, uh, marquee game today. And here's the 1-1 pitch, and that's a curveball and a pop-up to shortstop. He's underneath it, and that's out number one for Maple Grove. Number nine. Nash Luther. Luther with the uh, put out. That's going to bring lefty Bryce Hinsdale, our number two hitter, to the plate. That's a ball low, 1-0. <laughs> Fairly traditional outfield setup for Maple Grove, maybe shading a lit bit to the left-hand side of the field. and That's ball two, 2-0. Two Price ahead early here. Second batter of the inning for CSP. And that was a little change up, slow roller to first base, easily grabbed by McPherson. And one, two qu quick outs here for CSP. And that's going to bring Gabe, Gabe Roth. Roth to the plate. Hey, we can do it with two outs. I mean, let's just get a couple. Let's start chipping away at this. Yeah. I want to hit the ball a little bit harder than what we've hit. Correct. And there's a swing and a foul ball into Doc Dunnawald's backyard, which with that fence up makes it a little bit more difficult <laughs> to get that ball. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, but this this pitcher, has he's, he's a tall, lanky kid, and he, he's got a real... Real big motion. Yeah, so it's, it's an elongated yeah, motion for yeah. sure. There's a curveball high. One ball, one strike. It is, uh, but he's really smooth with it, Pat. He doesn't look like he's putting a lot, ton of pressure on his ton of pressure on his arm. It's a pretty smooth uh, delivery. I agree. I agree. He's got a good stride. And there's a fly ball to right field. Trouble today with the sun, but he, number 13, uh, Reinhardt makes the grab, and it's a 1-2-3 inning for CSP. After 1-5-0 Maple Grove, and we'll be right back. 
Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream McPherson. is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at triplemanufacturing.com. In baseball, these are the moments that bring us to our feet. But the most important moment happens when we all stand together. United for a great cause. So join Major League Baseball and stand up to cancer. As we stand in honor of all loved ones affected by this disease. I'm Jordana Brewster. I'm Candace Patton. Joe Manganiello. I'm Matt Damon. And cancer has in some way touched all of us. Visit standuptocancer.org slash MLB. Stand up with us. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Dream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Welcome back to CSP fo- uh, Baseball. <laughs> How many times am I going to do that this year? <laughs> CSP Baseball, 5 nothing here as we start the top of the second inning. We did get a report that uh, Trent Burchanowski is not playing in the field. His traditional second base position today he is batting, uh, but uh, he's having some arm trouble. So uh, Tanner Mahako gets the call at second, and uh, when, we get, uh, when we get up to bat, Trent will, uh, Trent will be batting. Which is unfortunate. I guess, Pat, you said it was maybe a wrestling injury, I, I huh? think it's what it came from, yes. Yes. All right, we have to have a clean inning here and then get the bats going. It's going to be the number two hitter, McPherson, for Maple Grove to lead off this top half of the second inning. Gabe Roth still on the mound for... CSP delivery number one is a deep shot to center field, and that's going to land right between right and center. It's going to he's going to go in standing up double for leadoff leadoff hit. Good piece of hitting there by McPherson. So no outs here. Leadoff double, and that's going to bring number 18 McCall, today's starting pitcher, to the plate. Not the way we wanted to start the inning, Pat. No. Well, let's hold them there and let's get the next three. Let's get after this McCall here. And there's a ground ball to second base. Good stop by Tanner. That's an out at first. So one out here in the second inning for CSP. Nice, nice, uh, nice job by Tanner Mahako there. Got down, stayed down on that ball and Got the out at first, so that did advance the runner to third. So, and CSP is going to move the infield in as Brisky steps into the box, number ten, and that curveball is low and inside for ball one. Coach Moreno making the decision to try to not allow this thing to get any bigger or lead getting bigger than it already is. There's a strike, one and one. So bringing the infield in takes takes the risk of that runner going uh, off the plate, but it also means that that ball is going to be on you in a hurry. There's the pitch. Low and inside, two balls and one strike on Brisky. It is a beautiful day out here, though, Kyle. I like to be standing in the sun. It's enjoyable. 
And there's a pitch right, a number right off the end of the bat. Good. There's nice. a good play. Another hit to second base, a little number to second base, Tanner Mahako with the uh, with the put out to first, and that's two outs for CSP. Kept the runner at third. And that's gonna bring Lombardo to the plate. He bunted last time at bat and moved people up. So. Number five hitter for Maple Grove. See what he does this time if he has any intentions. And there's a of strike that. right down the middle of the plate for strike one. No balls in one strike. And if you're Grant, you want to block everything that comes in. Keep that runner at third. Uh, and there's a strike late, late called strike. Did he call that a strike? Yeah, he did. <laughs> at least that's what it looked like to me. So no balls and two strikes. Good stop there, ball in the dirt, really nice stop by Grant. Correct me if I'm wrong, Kyle, but the backstop here at Climber is a little bit shorter than what we're used to. I think that, yes, is that's that true? right. That's right. Because I know the one in Panama, and the There one used in to Brockton. be a piece of wood that ran along the bottom, so if it hit that wood, it would bounce right back oh. to you. And there's strike, strike number three. three. Okay, good, we got, out, got of out of that inning after giving up a leadoff double to McPherson, but after the second, uh, Half of the second inning, it's 5 nothing, Maple Grove, and we'll be right back after these messages. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Dream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. This Wolfpack broadcast is brought to you in part by Cornerstone Restaurant and Bakery at 104 East Main Street in Sherman. The Cornerstone offers breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and baked goods. The phone number is 716-234-4002, or find them on Facebook. The Channel 989 Sports Stream thanks the Cornerstone in Sherman for their support. Support for CSP Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by Climber Hardware and Home Center. Serving the Climber area since 1873 with all your hardware needs at 8746 West Main Street and online at ClimberHardwareAndHomeCenter.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack from Climber Hardware and Home Center. This broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Land Pro Equipment, the area's authorized John Deere dealer, located at 1756 Lindquist Drive, Faulkner, and 8926 West Main Street in Climber, online at landproequip.com. They specialize in agriculture, lawn and garden, and light industrial equipment. The Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream thanks Land Pro Equipment for their support. Well, welcome back here. I'm Kyle Hinsdale. I'm with my partner Pat Catneys, and this is CSP Wolfpack Baseball. And we're going to be starting the bottom of the second inning. CSP down early, five nothing, and uh, really nice job by CSP in the top half of the first inning, the or second inning. We gave up a leadoff double and uh, we're able to get uh, three outs and keep him from scoring. So hopefully we can build off of that momentum and uh, see if we can get some, some runs on the board. CSP went one, two, three in the top half or bottom half of the uh, first inning. So it's gonna be uh, Trent Burchanowski leading off uh, batting today, not playing the infield, but batting uh, leading it off for CSP. And that's a pitch way high for ball one. Well, a good sign in that first inning, Kyle, was everybody got a bat on the ball, so that we weren't, we weren't missing it. Yep. Yep, put the ball in play and force the other team not to make a mistake. I believe that was a ball, so I think it's two balls and no strikes here. Our vantage point for today is not the best to call, be calling or assuming balls and strikes. So that, that one I could tell was a strike. 
two balls and one strike to the number four hitter, Trent Burchanowski for CSP. There's a pop-up. That ball is going to get foul on the first base side. It's going to go over the fence. Over the fence into Doc Dunnawald's <laughs> yard. He's going to be able to sell a lot of baseballs back to the school <laughs> when he's all done this year. Oh, there is an opening in the gate. Yeah, there's an opening. Yeah, can you imagine if there was no opening there? That go around to the main road and come in from that way. That ball was low. Three balls and two strikes. So full count here on the first batter of the second inning for CSP. Important to get a base runner here. That ball is inside. And there's first walk of the game, first base runner for CSP of the game. Trent Burchanowski, so we got some speed on the bases. Let's see if we can do something with it. That's going to bring sophomore Tate Catneys to the plate. And there we go, Pat. That one almost came right to us. Yes, but and I wouldn't have stopped it. Nope. Let it keep on rolling. <laughs> Those watching on Facebook Live have good uh, good advantage uh, to see this uh, this exchange here. It's tough against the lefty, and there's a well hit ball to center field. Get over set, and it's right at the center fielder. Well hit by Tate Catneys, but right at the center fielder. So that's a long fly ball out for CSP. Out number one. A little bit more, and that was going to go over his head and be trouble but one out here Trent Burchanowski on first and that's going to bring Grant Lictus. Grant Lictus to the plate another lefty for CSP and that's a ball in the dirt Trent forces the throw over, and he's safe. That's what you want to do as a base runner. Number one, you you want them, you want to make them worried about you. And number two, you want to throw you want to make them throw that thing around because eventually it's going to go past them and end up somewhere where they don't want it to be. And that one was real close. Boy, Kyle, that move is almost almost not legal. Yeah. You know. We got, a, we got a good vantage point yeah. of it here. There's a ball high. Because I, the way I watch it, it looks like his hips do shift forward, and then he throws over here, which makes that a balk. But. Yeah. <sighs> Two balls and no strikes to Grant Lictus. And that was a ball as well. Yes. So. Three balls and no strikes, and McCall's wondering where that one was at, Pat. Grant will tell him it was outside. <laughs> All right. I would imagine. See, uh, must be okay. The umpire's standing right yeah, there watching he's, it. He's all over it. I would imagine Grant at 3-0, and oh, down 5 nothing with a runner leadoff runner on first, is not going to be swinging here, and he's not. That's a... Ball right down the middle, so three balls and one strike on Grant Lictus. Five nothing here in the bottom of the second. Maple Grove, CSP with leadoff runner on with one out. Trying to claw their way back into this thing. A lot of focus on Trent over here. We like that, though. We let it keep happening. The more focus on first, the less focus on the batter. And there's strike number two. So three balls and two strikes on Grant Lictus.
There goes Trent. And there's strike three, so Grant Licht is called out on strikes, but Trent steals the base. So two outs here in the bottom of the second. CSP with a runner on second. And that's going to bring Dylan Michael to the plate. Dylan had a good game in Brockton the other night. Made contact every time he was at the plate. I believe he, they, he was player of the game. I believe so, yeah. All right, he's up there swinging. That's a foul ball down the first base side. I'm waiting for one of those kids to hop that fence. That's what I'm waiting for. Get caught for. on it. Probably. Get caught on it. Yeah. Start screaming. <laughs> no balls and one strike here to Dylan Michael. That's a ball high and outside. One and one. Scoreboard says one out, but I believe there's two outs here. Is that correct, Pat? Yes, Tate and Grant. Yep. Here's the one-one pitch. That's a curveball hit to right field, and that's going to drop. That's going to drop. He, Trent Burchanowski is going to score from second. Dylan Michael is going to be on his horse to third base, and he's going to have a stand-up triple. Nice piece of hitting there by Dylan Michael, and that's going to get CSP with its first run on the board. And uh, just proof there, Pat, just get the ball in play. Make contact, get the ball in play, and see what happens. Yes, and, absolutely. Uh, as many of you know who have been here in Climber, anybody in the in right field is going to have a lot of difficulty with that uh, west setting sun. So um, that's going to bring Blake Copta to the plate. And he sees uh, strike one for his first pitch. Dylan Michael at third base, 5-1 Maple Grove. And that's a dribbler to short. He's going to come up throwing, and that's going to be a put out to first base. Okay. But CSP gets one on the board, so 5-1 Maple Grove after two. And we'll be right back. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Stream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at triplemanufacturing.com. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Coverage of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is brought to you in part by Catholic Paladin Wood Services in Clymer, a leading provider of new heat-treated and recycled pallets and wood services since 1993. Find them online at CatholicPallet.com. Phone 716-355-4354. Catholic Pallet and Wood Services wishes the Wolfpack the best of luck this season. Welcome back as we enter the top of the third here in uh, Climber. One of two, I believe, one of two home fields. I don't see Sherman on the on the list for uh, games in Sherman. You're right. I don't. I didn't see that. So either. Panama and Climber. mostly Climber and Panama. That might be. I don't. Not sure. To be honest with you, that there's a Sherman kid on the on the Climber on the CSP team. So, but either way, here we are, top of the third. Gabe Roth still on the mound. This should be the Verboski. Yep, hit. six, seven, and eight hitters for Maple Grove. Verboski for Maple Grove. He fouls off, foul tips the first pitch. So Gabe up early. Oh, no balls in one strike. 
And there's... I ran the wrong way. That was a foul ball right at us, Pat. Well, Kyle, you ran right into it. You ran right towards it. Yeah. I was saved by a little plastic table right here. That was right at us, yes. Pat. Guess that fence isn't quite long enough, is it? <laughs> Make sure all of our cords stay together. And our reaction time is terrible. It was terrible. Uh, <laughs> Absolutely terrible. That's why we're over here and those kids are out there. <laughs> All right. After almost getting hit, <laughs> it is now, I think. I think he's got two strikes on him. No balls and two strikes to Vaboski. And there's a uh, ground, ground ball to short. Austin White comes up throwing. Bryce stretches, and we got an out at first base. First out of the inning for CSP. Nice play by Austin White. Good catch by Bryce. Good start. One out here in the top of the third, and that's going to bring number 13, Reinhardt, to the plate. Gabe has kind of settled in after that first inning, Pat. I agree. I agree. He looks like the Gabe that we're used to seeing. He's throwing strikes. He's, he's mixing it up. And to be honest with you, Maple Grove, they're, they're top five, top four or five hitters. I'd put those against, there are a lot of, those are some pretty good hitters. Absolutely. You got to get through, get through that. Here's a ground ball to short. Austin White comes up, tries to scoop. Not sure he would have had him either way, but didn't get the scoop. So that's going to be safe at first, the infield hit for Number 13, Reinhardt. I'm almost thinking that was the right play. I was I was watching it, and Tate would have had to stop and plant and throw, yep. and Austin was getting it on the way up through. Yep, so that's right. They were both in the area because it was a slow roller. <clears throat> that's all right. We can we can turn a double play here, or at that, least get the lead runner. That brings number the number eight hitter, uh, Cornell, to the plate for Maple Grove. And he's bunting, that ball's popped in the air and lands on the ground foul. So kind of have an idea of what they want to do here. We'll see if he can execute it. Strike number one. No balls in one strike. That ball's in the dirt. Nice Good job shot. by Grant Lichtus stopping that. Not only did he stop it, but he came up you know, going to fire. So it kept the runner at first. So one ball, one strike here to Cornell with a runner on first first base. 5-1 Maple Grove here in the top of the third. Going. Turns to Bunn. He's going. And he's He's safe. Stolen base for Reinhardt. Boy, that was very close. That was very close. It looked like Tanner got that ball and tagged him in the air, but uh, the umpire says no. Yep. So a runner in scoring position for Maple Grove here with a runner on second. What do we have, two strikes on the Cornell kid? Uh, he... Oh, ball and two, ball and, two balls and a strike. Okay. Two balls and a strike. One out. Runner on second. There's a ground ball to first foul ball, I believe. Yep. Good stop by Bracer yeah. there, but yeah. Foul ball down the first base line. Two balls and two strikes. A little late on it, Pat. So I would be if I'm Bracer, Tanner. Here, I'd be looking for something to this left-hand side, right-hand side of the field. Good, good block there by Grant. Full count. Full count, three and two on Cornell. Here's the payoff pitch. Got and swing and a miss for strike number three. So an important strikeout for... Gabe Roth 
here in the top of the third, and that's two outs now with a runner on second, and that brings the number nine hitter to the plate. I'm going to get it wrong, Pat. Osti. I think it's just Ost. Ost. I think it's just Ost. Ost. Yes. I think the E is silent. Uh, that's ball one. Ost to lefty, so want to be ready down this side of the first base line. There's a foul ball reaching that for that one a little bit out of the strike zone, but he made contact foul. One ball, one strike. I think Pat he had a important at bat in the last in the in the uh, top of the first, uh, reaching on a single yes, back up did. the middle. Yep, scored a couple. Of, uh, got a couple of RBIs out of it. Gabe working from the stretch with a runner on. And here's the delivery, and he knocks it to third base. Here's a long throw for Tate, and he got him. Nice play by Tate, nice stretch by Bryce, and that might have been a gift, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, looked pretty safe to me, but that's why we're over here announcing and not on the field, yeah, right, Pat? we will not bring that up anymore. We <laughs> will not bring that one up. So with that, 5-1 here. After the first half of the third inning, Maple Grove leads. CSP will look to put some on the board as we return after these messages. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Support for Wolfpack Baseball coverage on the Channel 98.9 Sports Stream is provided by Countertop Solutions and Climber. Go Wolfpack from Countertop Solutions. This broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Land Pro Equipment, the area's authorized John Deere dealer, located at 1756 Linquist Drive, Faulkner, and 8926 West Main Street in Climber, online at landproequip.com. They specialize in agriculture, lawn and garden, and light industrial equipment. The Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream thanks Land Pro Equipment for their support. Support for CSP Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by Climber Hardware and Home Center. Serving the Climber area since 1873 with all your hardware needs at 8746 West Main Street and online at ClimberHardwareAndHomeCenter.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack from Climber Hardware and Home Center. Welcome back to Climber, New York, where we're on the campus of Climber Central School. CSP playing host to the Maple Grove Red Dragons in CCAA West League matchup. We are entering the bottom of the third. Maple Grove up 5-1 to one after putting five runs on the board in the f first inning. And... CSP is going to bring come to the plate. I believe it may be the top of their order, Pat. But either way, McCall, Maple Grove starting pitcher, has got himself into the third inning here, and uh, we know we know a little bit about Gabe and the fact that he gets better as the game goes on. We'll see. Well, uh, it'll be interesting to to watch McCall and see how he performs as uh, as the game goes on as well. So it looks like we're starting with Caden Beckerink and then back at the top of the order. All right, right Caden Beckerink. So we're going to go three straight lefties here. So nine, one, and two for CSP, all lefties facing the big southpaw from Maple Grove, McCall. Big curveball. And at strike one to lead off Caden Beckerink. There's another sweeping curveball. And they're high. I'm surprised Caden isn't slapping them around <laughs> here. One ball, one strike. 
what you want what you want to do with that curveball, particularly a lefty, is just slap that thing to left field. Yeah, yeah. That, ball, that left fielder is deep. He's Boy. deep. That ball was sailed over the catcher's head. So two balls and two balls and one strike. Number four of Roboski behind the plate for Maple Grove today. Doing a nice job back there. Backstopping McCall. Two balls and one strike. And that ball is in, in the dirt. Three balls and one strike. It'd be sweet to get a lead run around again this inning. Yep. And we go to the top of the order. And those guys have all seen him now, so they know what they can do with him. Like I said, they all got a bat on the ball, so... Uh, they should be able to get up there and really hit the ball now. And that ball is high for ball four. So for the second straight inning, CSP gets the leadoff runner on. And uh, we've got speed on the bases with Caden Beckerink. And that brings, as Pat said, that brings the top of the order to the plate. And Austin White, who flew out to shortstop his first time up and Throw over to first, not in time. Caden Beckering got back. Oop. And that was pretty close too, yes, Pat. It was. That was pretty close again. Caden was sleeping a little bit there, but he got himself back. Well, I think the mothers aren't going to be happy about these boys getting dirty because they got to turn around and have these uni uniforms ready for tomorrow morning. Yes, they do. But like I tell my wife, if they aren't dirty, they didn't play hard. That's right. So that's good. And we have a little delay in the action here. Yeah, I don't know if why. the home plate umpire is having a brief conversation with Maple Grove's coach. I don't know. But either way, it's the first pitch right here to Austin White. That ball's in the dirt. Nice job by Vabrowski. Uh, to block that, keeping Caden Beckering at first base. One ball, no strikes on Austin White. And there's strike number one. One ball and one strike. Caden Beckering not getting the huge lead over here which is not unusual considering the lefty lefty pitcher. And he has a pretty good move. Yep, he does have a good move. Uh, I still like Caden's, Caden's chances, though. He is so fast. And there's a curveball, and that ball to second base. This could be two. And there's a out at one, safe at first. So they get the leadoff runner after a base uh, ground ball to second. Austin stays safe at first. So one out here for CSP, and that's going to bring Bryce Hinsdale to the plate. And now we're having a discussion on the mound. Not sure what that's all about either, Pat. Boy, that home home umpire's got a lot lot going on right now. <laughs> and all I can do is see him through a wire mesh fence. <laughs> You're so, protected back there. <laughs> so I can't give our home listeners a good view of what's going on. <laughs> All right, Austin White on first. That's a ball high to Bryce for the first pitch. So one ball and no strikes to Bryce. 5-1 here, Maple Grove in the bottom of the third. One out. CSP with a runner on first. And that's another ball high. Two balls and no strikes to Bryce. In fact, the people watching at home probably have a better view than I do right now, <laughs> don't they? That's all right, folks. I'll give you the best I got. And there's, there's a, strike. a strike. Two balls and one strike to Bryce. There's a big sweeping curveball that Bryce took a look at for a strike. 
Two balls and two strikes. Now Bryce has got to protect here. Out of play. That's out of play. Out of play down the third base side. Bryce is just sticking his bat out, hoping like heck it makes contact because he's not swinging, I can tell you that. So Kyle, that softball field is no longer in use. They've, they've moved the Clamor softball field? Oh, I don't know that, Pat. I know that was part of the plan and they were doing something over in the other field during okay. the football season, so. That might be right. And I see some dugouts over there, so you might be absolutely yeah. right, Pat. Three balls and two strikes. Counts full here. There's the pitch inside. I have no idea where that was at, but that ball was called a ball, so that's going to get a base on ball for Bryce. Never swung the bat except for one time there. And we got first and second for CSP with one out. And that's going to bring... Gabe Roth to the plate, so a little uh, CSP threatening here a little bit. That ball's in the dirt. Great stop by Baboski. And they're going to have a discussion here at the mound, so Maple Grove calls time. And, Pat, if you're CSP, you don't need to get all four runs back in one inning. You just want to kind of chip away at this thing. And maybe if you can kind of get one or two this inning, and, you know, the longer, the further you can get into the pitch count with uh, McCall, I would think that any pitcher, that's going to be better. So Absolutely. And, it's I mean, we're in the bottom of the third. There's there's four more innings to go. Yeah, so plenty can, of baseball. If we can keep staying clean on our end of it and then peck away at one or two every inning, that you uh, you know, and if we just slowly come out at the end with a W. And here's the pitch, and that's a big swing and a foul ball for Gabe Roth. One ball and one strike. One out here in the bottom of the third. Runners on first and second. 5-1 Maple Grove. That's a ball high. Two balls and one strike. Base hit here is going to at least score you one uh, with Austin, you would think. And depending on where that ball's put, uh, we've got some speed at first base. Maybe we can get There's just a lot of weird stops in this game, Pat. Yeah, I don't understand what's going on, but look at that gap between short and Man, third. That is right a massive now. lead for Bryce. And there's a strike, two. Two balls and two strikes. And there's a ball low. So he goes full on Bryce and he goes full on Gabe here. Three and two. Runners on first and second. Here's gonna be the payoff pitch. That ball is inside for ball four. Trent Bertranowski, CSP's number four hitter, is coming to the plate. Bases are loaded here in the bottom of the third, so CSP's got a little action going. It's important to at least get one run across the board here. And there's a ground ball to third foul. So Trent's up there being aggressive, swinging at that first pitch. And we would not expect anything less for him. Nope. He's up there ready to hit the ball every time. And if you're CSP base runners, you got to be thinking about uh, if that ball's hit on the ground, what am I doing? Well, you're running. Uh, if that ball's in the air, am I going halfway? Am I tagging up? So those are things you got to be thinking about ahead of the play. Uh, but anything on the ground, everybody's... Uh, Everybody's wheeling. Here's the 0-1 delivery, and there's strike number two. So Trent Burchanowski down early here. No balls and two strikes on McCall for Maple Grove.
And there's a swing and a miss. Strike three. Big strikeout from McCall. Okay, let's and get that's, one here. And that's two outs now, and that brings Tate Katniss to the plate. Tate with a hard hit ball to center field, but right at the center field, field uh, fielder in the first inning, second inning. And there's a ball outside. Ball one. Big spot here for Tate trying to get a hit. Anything out of the infield more than likely scores two. And there's a ball high. Two balls and no strikes. Now he's got to come to you, Tate. He's got no place to put you. Two balls and no strikes here. Base is loaded with two outs. Bat on the ball. Everybody's running. Three balls. Three balls. Tate's Three probably. balls and no strikes. A green, red yeah. light here for right. Tate. Yeah, he's got the stop sign, I'm sure. Yeah. <clears throat> He's got no place to put him. We'll take him however we can get him. Absolutely. There we go. Now All it's right. time to now settle he's seen in, it. Tate. Three balls and one strike. And there's a well-hit ball to the gap. That's going to fall. That's going to be a base hit to the fence. That's going to score one. That's going to score two. Tate's going to be at second base with a stand-up, and Gabe's going to come around. That's a three-run double for Tate Catneys. And all of a sudden, Pat, we've got ourselves a baseball game, five, four, Maple Grove here in the bottom of the third, all with a little two-out lightning. Big hit by Tate Catneys. That ball went to the fence between right field and center field. Nice piece of hitting by Tate. Must have learned that from his dad. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Get the bat on the ball. Let them runners run. Five, four. Maple Grove here in the bottom of the third. Two right, outs. Grant. Runner on second. Grant licked us up to the bat. And that ball's in the dirt. Good stop again by Vaboski. Kyle, I'd like to hear the conversation going on out there on second base with Tate and Nash Luther. They played travel baseball together, <laughs> so I'm sure there's a lot of pleasantries going on I'm around sure. out there. And they check Tate at second, and he's in safe. He wanted to make sure his mom definitely had to do laundry tonight. <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right, one ball, no strikes here to Grant Lictus. A lot of attention being shown to Tate at second, and eventually that ball is going to somehow make its way to the center field, I would guess. So let's. And it doesn't look like he has that large of a lead. I don't know why they're so worried about yeah, that. Yeah, I don't you know. know. And ball, curveball high. Two balls and no strikes. McCall doesn't believe it. He's just no. wondering where it him was and at. The, him and the home plate umpire and the coaching <laughs> for the and for Maple Grove and the home plate umpire have got, they got some – Pleasant trees going on all game, pretty much. Here's the 2-0 to Grant with big swing and a miss for strike one. With Tate's speed at second, a base hit here will score one. Let's see if we can get him around. Just need to make contact here, Grant. And here's the 2 1. A swing and a miss for Grant. Two balls and two strikes. Now he's got to protect here. Grant's making some good cuts up there. So yep. looks like he's becoming a little more and more comfortable in the batter's box as the games go on. So like I'd say he's, he's getting more comfortable behind the plate and 
getting more comfortable. I agree. At, yes. At uh, at the plate. And there's a curveball in for a strike, and that's strike three and out number three okay. for CSP, but not until CSP puts four runs on the board. A big three-run double for Tate Catneys here in the bottom of the third, and it is 5-4 Maple Grove, and we'll be right back. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Coverage of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is brought to you in part by Catholish Paladin Wood Services in Clymer, a leading provider of new heat-treated and recycled pallets and wood services since 1993. Find them online at catholishpallet.com. Phone 716-355-4354. Catholish Pallet and Wood Services wishes the Wolfpack the best of luck this season. Support for Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Mosier's Carpeting at 8631 East Main Street in Clymer. Mosier's has carpeting in all types of flooring, serving the area for over 27 years. Online at Mosier'sCarpeting.com. This broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Land Pro Equipment, the area's authorized John Deere dealer, located at 1756 Lindquist Drive, Faulkner, and 8926 West Main Street in Clymer. Online at LandProEquip.com. They specialize in agriculture, lawn and garden, and light industrial equipment. The Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream thanks Land Pro Equipment for their support. Welcome back to CSP Baseball, where CSP trails Maple Grove 5-4, to four, but uh, CSP puts up three runs in the bottom half of the third inning to get themselves back into this ball game. And uh, CSP stays with the same defensive unit, and uh, Gabe Roth is, comes out for his fourth inning of work today. After a difficult first, he has really settled down and uh, pitched the last two innings really well and getting good defensive effort by um, and b behind him. So important to keep doing that. So Yeah, the last two innings, he's only faced four batters both times. So that's good. That'll keep that pitch count down and keep them off the bags. <laughs> I'd like to see him go with three batters this inning. How's that? A little goal for him. And I think, Pat, you said it's one, two, three hitters for I the top of the Maple order. Grove. Should be Nash Luther, and then, yeah, Nash is the top of the order for them. All right, and here's the first pitch to Luther, and that's a curveball inside for a ball. Oh, he's... One oh pitch to Luther is in the dirt again. That's two in the dirt. Good stops by Grant, but two balls and no strikes. Ball in the dirt for the third straight. He's down early. Three no, three balls and no strikes. 5-4 Maple Grove here with the lead in the top of the fourth. No outs. Lead off hitter here for Maple Grove down. And that's a four-pitch walk to Luther. So that's not the way we want to start uh, this top of the fourth. Got speed on the bases and Big hitters for Maple Grove coming up. 
And that's going to bring to the plate number two, McPherson, their first baseman. Big boy. He's hit the ball well both times. He's been on both times. It's a pretty good size lead for Luther over here at first. And he's running, and that's a hit and run. And this could be two. Nice scoop by Bryce. And that's a double play for CSP. Nice play by Austin White. To be honest with you, Pat, it really helped that the base runner at first was running because it forced Austin to come to second base. That ball was hit right at the second base bag. Um, Austin made a clean play, touched the base, made a play to first base. Bryce had to scoop it out of the dirt, backhanded. Um, in Bryce's case, um, on his uh, not not backhand because he's left-handed, right. but a uh, double play to start this inning. So a really nice job by uh, CSP defensively, and that's going to bring uh, McCall to the plate, starting pitcher for Maple Grove. One ball, no strikes, two outs here in the top of the fourth. And there's a strike curveball for Gabe. One ball, one strike. CSP should be able to pick up some momentum after that little play, Pat. Absolutely. I was just thinking, I was watching Gabe's body language here, and he looked at that first batter. Didn't look like he was quite into it yet, but I think he's, I think he's rebounded from that. And, Ready to go again. There's a ball low. Two balls and one strike. He's flirting with that low pitch, and that, that umpire is not giving that low pitch away today. So. No. And you want to be a little careful here. You know who you have at the plate, right, Pat? I mean, this kid can really hit it. Yes. Yeah. And there's a little number back pop-up back to Gabe, and he catches it for out number three. So you ask them to do three batters, they got three batters. Nice. Next inning, we'll see if we can get them to do two. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the math works on that one. But uh, all right, 5 4, Maple Grove after the uh, in the middle of the fourth inning, and uh, CSP trying to make a comeback here after being down 5 1 early. Uh, we will be right back after these messages. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at triplemanufacturing.com. In baseball, these are the moments that bring us to our feet. But the most important moment happens when we all stand together. United for a great cause. So join Major League Baseball and stand up to cancer. As we stand in honor of all loved ones affected by this disease. I'm Jordana Brewster. I'm Candace Patton. Joe Manganiello. I'm Matt Damon. And cancer has in some way touched all of us. Visit standuptocancer.org slash MLB. Stand up with us. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lectus Oil and Propane. Welcome back. Dylan Michael leads off, leads it off for CSP here in the bottom of the fifth inning, 5-4, Maple Grove. Pitch number one is low and in the dirt for ball one. That ball is high and outside for ball two. Two balls and no strikes early on here to Dylan Michael. CSP after being down 5-1 after the second inning, trying to fight their way back into this thing. Now three balls and no strikes. Dylan hit the ball well the first time at bat. Let's see if he can do it again. Yeah, you had a stand-up double or a triple, I yes. think, right, Pat? Yeah, that's correct. An RBI at least. And there's a pitch for a strike. Three balls and one strike. McCall to Dylan Michael. 
Ball that high. ball is way high and outside for ball four. So that's going to get the CSP leadoff runner on base for this third straight inning, and we'll see if we can do anything with that. Well, Kyle, you can tell this is a big game here today. Even the mayor climbers here. <laughs> Mr. Dale Willink, there he is. Dale standing. Willink. Uh, I'm the son of the mayor. Son of the mayor. <laughs> son of the mayor of Climber. Maple Grove having a uh, brief meeting. On the mound, trying to settle McCall down after a four-pitch walk here in the bottom of the fifth to CSP leadoff hitter Dylan Michael. Dylan's got good speed. He does. That brings Blake Copta to the plate. There's a ball right at the knees for strike one. Boy, that wasn't a strike last inning for Gabe, I don't believe. But like I said, I'm looking through a my, oh, oh, wire fence here, folks, so <laughs> I could be wrong. <laughs> no balls in one strike. And that ball is high and outside for ball one. One and one. We'll see how aggressive Coach Moreno wants to be. I would not expect, with no outs here, Dylan to be running. And there's a bunt foul. I like the idea. Uh, absolutely. In fact, I love the idea to try to get, uh, get Dylan in scoring position. See if we can maybe... Uh, he won't be bunting now with the two strikes. So one ball, two strikes to Blake Copta. There's a ball high, two and two. And these last two innings, last, I'll say two and a third here, the um, McCall's been going deep in the count on a lot of CSP hitters. There's a swing and a miss for strike three for Blake Copta. So important first out of the inning for Maple Grove. And that's gonna bring Caden Beckerink to the plate, lefty for CSP, so lefty on lefty. Yeah, you're right, Kyle, this McCall, he's been gotta be deep in his pitch count, so. That ball's low. One ball, no strikes. I think this is the third, maybe the fourth time these the batters have seen McCall, Pat, is that? Yes. Yeah. Third time? Third time. Yeah. And there's a bunt by Caden Beckerink. He's going to second, and that was a collision at second. And that was a collision at second base. Dylan Michael, I don't know if he didn't slide or what, but he is safe at first after a bunt by Caden Beckerink. So right now it looks to be It looks to be first. First and second. First and second. I'm just trying to get the understanding of the conversation that's going on between the short stop and the umpire, or the base, base up. I think he's giving him a warning right now. And meanwhile, the Head coach for Maple Grove is getting an explanation from the home plate umpire. And they're now going to have they're going to have a meeting of the minds here between I think the Maple Grove coach is taking an opportunity to check on his player, make sure he's okay. It was a hard collision at second, Pat. It sure was, and they they laid there for a minute. I didn't know if somebody was hurt or if they were just, one was trying to get up and the other one was trying to hold them down. I don't know.
And we've got both umpires, both home plate umpire and the base uh, umpire talking to Dylan. And it uh, looks like we're going to get back to action here. But to recap, we've got uh, one out here in the bottom of the fifth. CSP is going to bring their top of the order up, Boston White. And we've got runners on first and second. Lord knows what we're going to see in this game, Pat. I know. That umpire, he's, he's earning his money tonight for sure. <laughs> Jeez. And there's the pitch to Austin White. Foul tip for strike number one. He's had a conversation with almost everybody so far, I think. Runners on first and second for CSP. There's the delivery, and that ball is high. One ball and one strike to Austin White. If you're Austin, you're just looking to make contact here, put that ball in play, try to advance those runners. There's the delivery. Big curve ball that's in for a ball, so two balls and one strike. One out here for CSP. Runners on first and second. There's the delivery. That's a big curveball. It's again foul tipped, I think. Two balls and two strikes. I have a feeling he's, Austin's going to see that curveball again. Yep. And he's a disciplined enough hitter that he'll he'll hit it this time. Yeah, slap that thing to left field, right? Yep. Got another stoppage in play here. And there's contact by right. Austin, but that's going to be a foul ball out of play. So he stays alive. Two balls and two strikes. Runners are not being held on, other than maybe a little bit of Dylan. But first base, at Caden Beckering's not being held on, and I'm not sure where that ball was. Maybe outside. Three balls and two strikes. So full count on the CSP batter Austin White. And here's the payoff pitch, and that's down low in little golf swing. And that's an out to third base. A little pop-up foul ball that third baseman had room. So that's two outs now for CSP. And that brings Bryce Hinsdale to the plate. See if we can get a base hit here. That might have been ball four on Austin right there. Yeah, that ball was a little <coughs> low, Pat. And that's off the nub of the bat. And that's going to be a ground out to second base. Let's go. Swing through it. Swing through it. That's out number three for CSP because Bryce cannot swing the bat. <laughs> Just sticks it out there hoping it hits it. Five, four, Maple Grove after five. We'll be right back after these messages. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lectus Oil and Propane and Climber. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. This Wolfpack broadcast is brought to you in part by Cornerstone Restaurant and Bakery at 104 East Main Street in Sherman. The Cornerstone offers breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and baked goods. The phone number is 716-234-4002, or find them on Facebook. The Channel 989 Sports Stream thanks the Cornerstone in Sherman for their support. Support for CSP Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by Climber Hardware and Home Center. Serving the Climber area since 1873 with all your hardware needs at 8746 West Main Street and online at ClimberHardwareAndHomeCenter.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack from Climber Hardware and Home Center. 
This broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Land Pro Equipment, the area's authorized John Deere dealer, located at 1756 Linquist Drive, Faulkner, and 8926 West Main Street in Clymer. Online at landproequip.com. They specialize in agriculture, lawn and garden, and light industrial equipment. The Channel 989 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream thanks Land Pro Equipment for their support. Welcome back to a fantastic high school baseball game here today where Maple Grove and CSP are going head to head, probably the two best teams in the in the league. 5-4 Maple Grove as we start the top of the 6th. Kyle, it looks like they're starting out with their number 4 hitter. And I'm right, Pat. This is top of the 6th, right? Top or top of the 5th. It says five out. It says five out there, but I thought it was the six. But maybe I'm wrong. Is it the fifth? Mm. That's a good question, Kyle. <laughs> my book says fifth. No, my yeah, my book says fifth. Huh. Okay. All right, Gabe Roth. First pitch of the inning is a ball to, I think this is Brisky. Yes, that's correct. And that's a high foul ball into Doc Dunnawald's backyard. One ball, one strike here to Brisky. Yeah, it's the uh, top of the fifth. <laughs> Scoreboard is correct. What I'm thinking. And there's strike number two. One ball and two strikes. Here in the top of the fifth, 5-4. Maple Grove with the lead. All five runs coming in that top half of the first. And here's the pitch. Oh. And that looked pretty good. Yes, it did. Two balls and two strikes. And there's a foul ball behind home plate, almost in the identical spot as the first one. Now, Kyle, is, uh, Gabe's going to St. John Fisher to play baseball, is that correct? I believe so, yes. <coughs> and Trent's going to Penn State Barron to play baseball. Yep. Wow. Yeah, that's a ball low, three balls and two strikes. Well, that speaks well for the program. It does, you it know? does. Here's the payoff pitch to Brisky, and that's a ground ball back to Gabe. He fields it, throws it to first for out number one of the inning. Nice play, nice job by Gabe fielding his position as pitcher. So big first out here in the top of the fifth for CSP, and that's going to bring Lombardo, number eight Lombardo to the plate. There's strike number one. Well, that pitch sounded pretty strong into <laughs> yeah, it did. Grant's glove. So. Yeah, it did. You could hear that snap, crackle, and pop over here. So the velocity on, on no the ball balls in one strike. Down. There's a swing and a miss. I think somebody might have got hit there as far as either Grant or the umpire got clipped with the ball. Foul ball, no balls and two strikes. Gabe is really settled down here. We'll need him over the course of the next six three weeks. innings. <laughs> six, yeah, weeks. six weeks. <laughs> yeah, that is the truth. <laughs> that is the truth. Here's the 0-2 pitch to 
on the outside to Lombardo. Good waste there for Gabe. One ball and two strikes. Trying to get him to reach out and hit that. And there's a ball laid on foul ball down the first pace line. He stays alive. I've been watching Tanner there second filling in for Trent. He he knows the game. He moves to when he's supposed to move and it looks yep. like he's, he's doing a, nice, doing a job. nice job. He's had a good game today. First, I believe this is his first varsity action, Pat. There's a ball in the dirt. Two balls and two strikes for Gabe. What is he, a junior, Kyle? Yeah. So he didn't play baseball last year. Uh, he may have, but he might have. I don't know if he was, was there, would they play JV? No, last year was modified. Just modified. Just modified in varsity, yeah. So here's the 2-2 pitch, him. and he's got him on strike three. So swing and a miss for Lombardo, and that's out number two for CSP here in the top of the fifth. That's going to bring the number six hitter, Voboski, to the plate for Maple Grove. Wearing number four today in your program. Here's the first pitch. And that's a ball low. One ball, no strikes. 5-4, Maple Grove here in the top of the fifth. CSP fighting back from a 5-1 deficit. See if they can complete the, the comeback here in the last three innings. There's a swing and a miss for Voboski. I've been really impressed with Voboski behind the plate today, Pat. I, you know, uh, McCall's thrown some pitches. He throws that uh, big curveball that sometimes gets in the dirt. There have been very few balls that have gotten to the backstop for Maple Grove. And there's a pitch out of the zone that Voboski gets a little aggressive on and swings. So we've got one ball and two strikes. Be nice to get him here and get in and get the bats going again. And there's a ground ball to third. Nice hop to Tate. He throws to first, and that's out number three of the inning. So Maple Grove goes one, two, three, and CSP is going to get a chance to get those bats going. It is... 5-4, Maple Grove, and we'll be right back. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane and Climber. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at triplemanufacturing.com. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Coverage of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is brought to you in part by Catholic Paladin Wood Services in Climber, a leading provider of new heat-treated and recycled pallets and wood services since 1993. Find them online at CatholicPallet.com. Phone 716-355-4354. Catholic Pallet and Wood Services wishes the Wolfpack the best of luck this season. Welcome back, baseball fans. 5-4 here in uh, Clymer, New York, on the campus of Clymer Central School. Maple Grove with the 5-4 advantage over CSP as we enter the bottom half of the fifth inning. 
Maple Grove is going to go uh, stick with their with their starter McCall, the big southpaw on uh, through five now. And CSP is going to bring the four five six four five six hitters three four five three I four think. five. You're correct. Three four five. So three four five hitters for CSP coming to the plate. Big couple innings here, Pat, uh, both on an offensive and defensively. You want to try to try to get that least tying run here in this inning or the next. You don't want to get to that last inning having to score. And um, and then defensively, we just want to keep, uh, you know, Gabe's found his rhythm and uh, keep playing good defense. Correct. We just want to keep them at five and see if we can get one or two. And there's the first pitch to Gabe, and that's a strike. Called strike, so no balls in one strike. I'd love to see the lead runner on. Always puts a little pressure on the outfield and infield. And there's a high fly ball, top uh, to th shortstop. He's underneath it, and that is out number one for Maple Grove. High pop up on the infield. Yeah, he reached under that thing. And that's out number one. That's going to bring Trent Burchanowski uh, having some arm trouble today. So he is only batting and not playing the infield. And there's a hard hit ball down fair the ball. Third, third baseline. That's fair. Oh, that's going to get by the right left fielder going all the way to the fence. Trent is at second. He's going to have a stand up double. Thought about going to uh, third, but thought better of it. That was a well-hit line drive between the third baseman and the third base bag. And that's going to bring CSP's hottest hitter of the day, Tate Katniss, to the plate. Tate lined out with a hard hit to center field in the first in second inning and uh, cleared the bases on a bases-loaded double back in the, I believe it was either third or fourth, to bring this game, this score of 5-4. Now he has a chance to tie it up with a base hit here. That ball is low in the dirt. We got a lot of speed and a lot of a lot of aggressiveness in Trent at second. So Lord knows what's going to happen here. But that first pitch is in the dirt for ball one. And there's ball two staying low on Tate. Two balls and no strikes. One out here in the bottom of the fifth. Trent Burchanowski, after a stand-up double, is at second base. And there's strike number one, so two balls and one strike. Tate's going to see that curveball now, and I think hopefully he knows he's going to see it. Sit back and just hit this ball somewhere and score Trent. And there's he that curveball again. Yeah. He did see it, Pat, but it wasn't to his liking. So, And that was in for a strike. Two balls and two strikes. Now he doesn't have a choice. If now he doesn't yeah. have a choice. Whether he likes it or not, he better swing. Just make contact here. That's Take. correct. And that's what he did. And that's a pop-up. That's a to tough play. Right field. And he drops it. He drops it. Tate's running his way to second. He's down safe at second. Trent makes his way to third. So CSP, nice piece of hitting there by Tate. He just wanted to make contact, and that's what he did. And that was a little blooper to right field. Long way for the right fielder to run. He was unable to get it on a sliding uh, play. So now CSP's got some action going here in the bottom of the fifth. 5-4. Maple Grove runners on second and third with one out. And Grant Lictus comes to the plate. Maple Grove's going to move their edges on uh, on the infield in. So first and third are in. And that ball is low to start off Grant. One ball, no strikes. Now with one out here, any kind of contact to the left hand, right hand side of the field should score a run, Pat. Yes. Uh, yes. Anything to the to the left hand side of the field 
Trent's got to make a decision. Uh, but anything to first or second would be ideal if you're Grant right here. If he does hit it to the shorter third, Trent's got to make that 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 uh, infield to think about it and maybe have a bad throw over here. And there's a big swing for Grant. Two Grant, balls and one strike. Two balls and one strike. One out here, second and third for CSP. And that ball is low and outside for ball three. Three balls and one strike. We were talking at, at, about it during the break. Uh, you know, I don't know what McCall's pitch count is at, but these last three innings, he's been going deep into the counts on almost every single batter yeah. for CSP. Yeah, and I, I mean. And there's a base hit to, or a grounder to second. He did exactly what he needed to do. He did exactly what he needed to do. And that's an RBI for Grant Lictus. And this ball game is tied at five with two outs now here in the fifth inning, bottom of the fifth, and we still got a runner on third base. We got Dylan up swinging a hot bat. Dylan Michael, who's only being surpassed by the hot bat by Tate Catanese, is uh, up to bat, so we got the right guy up here. Base hit's going to give CSP the lead. And there's the first pitch strike. No balls and one strike. With two outs, bad on the ball, Tate's running. So, what a great piece of hitting there by Grant. Um, got that ball exactly where he needed to on the right hand side of the field. And there's a foul ball into the dugout. Hopefully, everybody's on their toes over there. All right, Dylan's down early here, no balls and two strikes. There's Good the ball eye. high and outside for ball one. Tate better be careful over there. He's halfway down the third <laughs> baseline. Calls working from the stretch. And there's strike three. So that is out number three for CSP here in the bottom of the fifth, but not until they got the equalizer so it is 5-5 five, five CSP after 5 we'll be right back after these messages funding for this channel 989 sports stream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane and Climber family owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture industry and homeowners heating oil and propane services and off and on diesel fuel services are also offered the channel 989 sports stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support Support for Wolfpack Baseball coverage on the Channel 98.9 Sports Stream is provided by Countertop Solutions and Climber. Go Wolfpack from Countertop Solutions. This broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Land Pro Equipment, the area's authorized John Deere dealer, located at 1756 Lindquist Drive, Faulkner, and 8926 West Main Street in Climber. Online at landproequip.com. They specialize in agriculture, lawn and garden, and light industrial equipment. The Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream thanks Land Pro Equipment for their support. Support for CSP Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by Climber Hardware and Home Center. Serving the Climber area since 1873 with all your hardware needs at 8746 West Main Street and online at ClimberHardwareAndHomeCenter.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack from Climber Hardware and Home Center. Welcome back where we have a 5-5 game here CSP versus Maple Grove, one uh, very well played high school baseball game through five innings, um, and uh, after after the first inning where it was five nothing Maple Grove, I think CSP would have immediately taken a five five uh, score in the as they entered the last two innings of the game. So. Uh, we're going to bring in, uh, that's going to be it for Gabe Roth, who uh, outside of that first inning pitched a heck of a game here against a very 
uh, talented lineup for Maple Grove. And uh, sophomore number 14, Tate Catney's is going to attempt to bring his prowess from the plate to the mound and uh, try to finish this thing off for CSP. Tate got a little bit of action in on uh, Monday against Silver Creek. Pitched, I think, Pat, two innings of well-played uh, well ball and uh, just needs to throw strikes and rely on his defense. Yeah, let the we defense take care of business for you. Last two innings. We're going to see... Seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, and nine for Maple Grove here in the top half of the sixth. As I mentioned, CSP down five nothing after the first. They got one back in the in the second, uh, and then one in the third, and one in the fifth. Or I'm sorry, three in the third and one in the fifth to make it five five. So up to bat is going to be number 13, Reinhardt, for Maple Grove. And we'll see if Tate can get settled in here and throw strikes. And here's the first pitch of, the, of his inning, and that's a ball in the dirt, ball one. Reinhardt showed bunt. Good crowd today, uh, as you might expect for a Friday afternoon with beautiful weather. Here's pitch number two, and that's a high strike. Swing and a miss for Reinhardt. One ball and one strike. And he went right back to the well with that high fastball, and Swing and a miss again, so Tate up early. One ball, two strikes. And here's the pitch, and he blew it right by him for strike three. So good inning, or good at bat there for Tate Catney's with strikeout number one of the inning, and that's going to bring to the plate uh, Cornell. Okay, it looks like they just swapped uh, Gabe and Tate. Put Tate at the mound and Gabe over at third base, and everybody else stayed oh, the yep. same. Which is unusual. They usually put Gabe in center, I think. Correct. On that. Oh, a nice curveball there on a fake bun, I think. I think Gabe's one of those kids you can put anywhere on yeah, the field. Yeah, you can. <laughs> yep, you can put him anywhere. So Tate up, no balls in one strike here in the top of the six. There's a swing and a miss for strike number two up real early. In fact, I think that the first year that Gabe played, it was still just Panama, and I think he was the catcher in eighth grade. I, there's Yes, that is absolutely correct. So and he can play anywhere. Cornell fights that one off for a foul ball out of play. Still no balls and two strikes. Here's the 0-2 pitch. That's strike three on the outside corner for strikeout number two of the inning for Tate Catney's and two outs here for CSP, and that's going to bring... Ost. Ost. I'm glad you said it. <laughs> I'm glad you said it. That's going to bring Ost to the plate, number nine hitter for Maple Grove. Lefty. Uh, there's a curveball that just missed the strike zone for ball one. One ball, no strikes, two outs here in the top of the six, five, five ball game. And there's a well hit ball right to Austin White at short for out number three. One, two, three inning for CSP and Tate Cadneys. With that, 
Uh, we'll be back for the bottom half of the 6-5-5 five, five ball game here in Climber. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Coverage of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is brought to you in part by Catholic Paladin Wood Services in Clymer, a leading provider of new heat-treated and recycled pallets and wood services since 1993. Find them online at CatholicPallet.com. Phone 716-355-4354. Catholic Paladin Wood Services wishes the Wolfpack the best of luck this season. Support for Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Mosier's Carpeting at 8631 East Main Street in Clymer. Mosier's has carpeting in all types of flooring, serving the area for over 27 years. Online at Mosier'sCarpeting.com. This broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Land Pro Equipment, the area's authorized John Deere dealer, located at 1756 Linquist Drive, Faulkner, and 8926 West Main Street in Climber, online at landproequip.com. They specialize in agriculture, lawn and garden, and light industrial equipment. The Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream thanks Land Pro Equipment for their support. Good afternoon and welcome back to Clymer, New York on the campus of Clymer Central School where CSP and Maple Grove are having a heavyweight battle here in CCAA, CCAA West Baseball. 5-5 five, five here in the bottom of the six. We are going to get a pitching change uh, after five strong innings by the big South Paul McCall. Uh, we're going to get uh, Brisky. He's going to come in to uh, to relieve him. So a new pitcher uh, that CSP has not seen. We'll see how they respond to that. We're going to see uh, hitters 8, 9, and 1 for CSP here in the top, bottom of the six. And I've said this before, Kyle. Blake seems so calm at the plate. Yep. You know, very calm. That first pitch was a ball low, so one ball, no strikes to Ga or Blake. There's a swing and a miss for strike number one. Interesting that with, even with no runners on base, Brisky decides to work from the stretch. We had that the other night, too, didn't we? We did, yep. We did. Was that Brockton? Thank yes. Man. And there's strike number two, swing and a miss for Blake Copta. So one ball, two strikes here on CSP's leadoff hitter for the inning. Number eight hitter in the lineup. Be good to get him on base. Yeah, he's got good wheels. That ball is outside, two and two. Uh, there's a foul ball. Tate was or uh, Blake was a little late on that, but he fought it off and stays alive. So still two balls and two strikes to Blake Copta. McCall, the starting pitcher for Maple Grove, transitions out to left field. Looks like Lombardo moved into third. Yep, that's right, and I think everybody else remains the same. <laughs> There's a ball outside, so he goes full count on his first batter that he's facing on CSP for uh, Brisky. And there's a ball in the dirt for ball four. So leadoff runner for CSP gets on after being down early in the count. Very patient at bat by Blake. Yep. Very patient. And that's going to bring 
I believe Caden Beckrink to the plate for CSP. Caden's gotten some nice hits for CSP through the first three games here, and that's a balk. And that's a balk that's going to advance Blake Cope to the second. So now CSP with no outs immediately has a guy in scoring position. Caden Beckering with a lot of speed. Anything, any bat, bat on the ball. And he's bunting down the first base side. And Maple Grove does a nice Good play, punk. but Caden Beckering did his, did his job advancing the runners. So CSP now has one out here in the bottom of the six with a runner in scoring position at third. And that's going to bring the top of the order up for CSP, Austin White. A run here for CSP would put a lot of pressure on Maple Grove in the top of the seventh for sure. It's a big at bat for Austin right here. Yep. And here's the delivery, and I think he hit him, and he did. So that's going to put a runner, runners on first and third for CSP. Bryce Hinsdale is going to be at the plate. Not necessarily the guy we want at the plate today, but. <laughs> oh, Kyle, he's fine. <laughs> Maple Grove's going to have a meeting at the mound, and so with that, we're going to take a real quick break, and we'll be right back to see how this inning plays itself out. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We well, that, treat you that like family. Take, Online yeah, at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. All right, welcome back. After the meeting at the mound of the Maple Grove coaching staff and infield, I'm going to bring Bryce Insdale, lefty to the plate, one out here in the top, bottom of the six, 5-5, five, five, but CSP threatening with a runner on first and third. Here's the delivery. Austin White at first is going to take off, and he's going to stand up with a stolen base. And so there's two ducks on the pond for Bryce. Base hit here is going to give us a couple runs, hopefully. Same thing with Bryce, though, the same thing that we did with Grant. He hits it to this side of the infield. That should score Blake. Yep, you're absolutely right. That ball is in the dirt, and here comes Blake home, and he's going to be safe. That ball got to the backstop, and Blake Copta, being aggressive, gets up, gets picks up CSP's sixth run of the game. It's first of the inning, and it's now 6-5 CSP. So now CSP's got a runner at third with still one out. So we were asked if that was a pass ball or a wild pitch. I'm going to call that a pass ball. There you go. I've been praising Vaboski all day. Yes. He's had a heck of a game. Here's the pitch, and that ball is high. Two balls and one strike to Bryce. And, Pat, you're absolutely right. Anything to the right-hand side of the field here, is going to uh, is going to more than likely score a run. Who is that, Austin? Yes, it'll yep. score Austin. That's for sure. He'll be aggressive over there. That ball's in the dirt for three balls and one strike. 
Gabe Roth on deck for CSP. So Brisky facing the heart of CSP's order. And there's ball four. So we've got runners on first and third for the Wolfpack. Yeah, I would not hesitate to send Bryce first thing right now. Yep. Because they're moving that, they're not even holding him on, so no. he can pretty much stroll down there. Get a couple guys in scoring position for Gabe to hit one deep. What is there, one out? So that would score two more. Yeah, one out here. And there goes Bryce. And they're not throwing. They kind of do a makeshift fake throw to the shortstop. That was a little was challenging a little there. <laughs> you know? It, gets it was past not that, ideal. It gets it past the shortstop. That <laughs> thing scores a couple. Not ideal. So Bryce gets a stolen base standing up, and it's runners at second and third for CSP. And now Did they Gabe call a Ruff. strike on Gabe that first pitch? I think so. Now Gabe can go to work here. And there's a swing and a miss for, I believe, strike two. Now, ball's hit on the ground, Pat. These runners do not need to run. That's correct. We got first base open. And Gabe called time. One ball, one strike, I guess. Ooh, and he just plunked him in the back. So Gabe is going to get to first base on a hit by pitch. And now CSP's got bases loaded here in the bottom of the six, up six to five after being down five nothing early on. And Trent Bertranowski is going to step into the box. Like we said the other night, he took one for the team there, Kyle. He did. They, you know? got, they got ice. <laughs> and there's a big swing by Trent. If he keeps his head on it and his eyes on that ball, he's going to hit it hard. He's just pulling his head a little bit. Again, base is loaded. No place to put him. Ball low. One ball, one strike. And I like what I see out there. We have smart base runners on each base. So yep. aggressive, but smart. Yeah. yeah, aggressive is right. And here's the delivery. That ball is inside. That looked like a curve ball that did not curve. Two balls and one strike to Trent. Ball on the ground. Everybody's running. Ball's in the air. Going either halfway or tagging up. And again, ball's in the dirt low. Three balls in one strike. He's got no place to put them. So if you're Trent, you're sitting on a fastball right down the middle of the plate. And here's the 3-1 pitch. And it's low in the dirt. And that's going to score a run on a on a walk, easiest RBI Trent will ever get. So bases remain loaded. It is now 7-5 CSP. Bases loaded with one out. We're going to have a brief meeting at the mound. <laughs> And again, still smart base runners throughout. So, um, so Kyle Tate's been swinging a hot bat. Do you make him sit back and throw your strikes, or do you jump on that I'm first jumping strike? On it. I'm jumping on it, particularly with a two two run lead, uh, seven five. I'm jumping on this thing, seeing if I can really put him away here. And a base hit, uh, base hit will at least score two. And Tate's had a really good bat each time he's been up. That first pitch is a strike on the outside. No balls and one strike. See if Tate can help himself out here as he'll be out in the top of the seventh to finish, try to finish this thing off. And there's a high fly ball to the center field and right field comes over, makes the catch. 
Bryce is tagging, so that's going to be an RBI flyout for Tate. The second base, Trent, uh, Gabe Roth advances to third, so CSP's got runners at first and third. Good job by Tate Catanese. We just needed bat on the ball, and that's what he did. That was a deep fly ball to uh, to between right field and center. Right fielder called off the center fielder and made the catch, but that's going to bring Grant Lictus to the plate. Eight to five, CSP here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Two outs, runners on first and third. Trent's going, and here goes Gabe being aggressive, and yep. that's what happens when Gabe gets aggressive. So he's in a little bit of a pickle here, and he's going to be out. And that was not the way we wanted to end that, but not until CSP puts three across the board and it is eight to five CSP and we'll be back for the top of the seventh inning after these messages. Funding for this channel 989 sports stream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane and Climber. Family owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off and on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 989 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. This Wolfpack broadcast is brought to you in part by Cornerstone Restaurant and Bakery at 104 East Main Street in Sherman. The Cornerstone offers breakfast, lunch, and dinner and baked goods. The phone number is 716-234-4002 or find them on Facebook. The Channel 989 Sports Stream thanks the Cornerstone in Sherman for their support. Support for CSP Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by Climber Hardware and Home Center. Serving the Climber area since 1873 with all your hardware needs at 8746 West Main Street and online at ClimberHardwareAndHomeCenter.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack from Climber Hardware and Home Center. This broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Land Pro Equipment, the area's authorized John Deere dealer, located at 1756 Linquist Drive, Faulkner, and 8926 West Main Street in Climber, online at landproequip.com. They specialize in agriculture, lawn and garden, and light industrial equipment. The Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream thanks Land Pro Equipment for their support. And welcome back, baseball fans. You're listening to CSP Wolfpack Baseball on Channel 98.9 and Facebook Live. We've had a heck of a baseball game here today in Climber. CSP, after being down 5 nothing after 1, has clawed their way back and leads 8-5 to five here in the top of the seventh inning. Three more outs, and CSP will have win number three under their belt. Uh, we're going to face, it's never going to be easy, and uh, we're going to face hitters one, two, and three for uh, for Maple Grove. And Tate Catneys, who pitched a gem of an inning last inning with uh, two strikeouts and a ground out, uh, is going to see this top of the seventh. We're going to need another gem of the inning here, Kyle. Yes, yes we will. This, this top this of one, this order This one is, might be more impressive this, than the yes, sixth. <laughs> this top of the order is aggressive, and they're coming up swinging, and they're trying to score some runs. So They've lost a little bit of their energy, Pat, that they had back in the first inning, that's for sure. But I think if Tate makes them, makes them earn it and doesn't, doesn't walk and yep. stuff like that. Put then it, yeah, rely on your defense. Make them earn it. So, CSP, three outs away from win number three. And this is going to be top of the order, number nine, Luther at the plate. Pitch number one by Tate is a ground ball, base hit to left field. So, Maple Grove gets their leadoff man on after the first pitch. And yeah, not what we wanted to see there, Kyle. And that's going to bring McPherson to who's the, hit the ball hard every hit time. the ball hard every time to the plate. Those insurance runs in the top bottom of the six are going to, I think, prove to be important. Pat, there's a ball outside for no for one ball. 
no strikes, no outs. Runner on first, 8-5 to five CSP here in the top of the seventh. If you're an infielder, you want to knock the ball down. Uh, there's a nice curveball that just missed. Two balls and no strikes. There's a ball low. Three balls and no strikes. State being a little careful with the big Maple Grove hitter here. Doesn't get any easier after this. And there's strike number one. So three balls and one strike to McPherson. Luther here at first getting a really sizable, fairly sizable lead. Tate would know his tendencies as they've played together for quite a while. Ooh, and that might have hit him. Foul ball, right? Yep. Hands part of the bat, right? Yep. So there's strike number two. So Tate's fought his way back here after being down 3-0. Gets it to a full count to McPherson. And here's the pitch. And that's a curveball pop up to center. That may be trouble. And it's not. Blake nice Copta with a Blake. nice Blake job. Of, he had to come from a long ways. That ball was just off the dirt on the infield. And he had a long ways to go. But nice job by Blake Copta in that center was field. A great play. Great and, play. And uh, that's out number one and a big out for CSP. Big out for CSP, and that's going to bring McCall, today's starting pitcher for Maple Grove, to the plate. And the nice thing was Blake called off Austin early enough, so Austin didn't go out and get in the way. And yep. Blake just kept running at it. Yeah, it was good communication there. I would not be I would not be surprised, Pat. So what's if, happening? Uh, somebody's calling time for some reason. Um, I would not be surprised, Pat, if we see Luther running here. I think Maple Grove wants to be aggressive and get, get a runner in scoring position while they got their big bats up. I agree. And there, there he go. goes. He goes right there yeah. on a curveball in the dirt. So good pitch to run on if you're Maple Grove on a curveball. And that's going to get a, a runner at second. Uh, well, doesn't hurt us no, uh, if that guy happens here. to score. So we want to focus on the batter. Right now, all these batters should be, uh, we would want that, to him to bunt. He showed bunt. McCall showed bunt in for a strike. He's more than happy to bunt as far as I'm concerned. Correct. Correct. <laughs> one ball, one strike here on McCall. Eight to five CSP in the top of the seventh. Uh, and there's a foul ball on what looked to be a changeup some sort or massive curve but either way way out in front of it or so. it slipped out of his hands <laughs> or it slipped out <laughs> of his hands one ball two strikes runner on second this would be a big out right and here this would Kyle. be a huge out <clears throat> and balls oh. low and in the dirt good stop by grant two balls and two strikes good wasted pitch there see if by Tate, see if he can get him to chase that. CSP holding the runner on at second. There's a curveball right to Austin. He throws it to first, and that is out number two of the inning. Good job by Austin White. Good catch by Bryce. And that's two outs here in the top of the seventh. Maple Grove still with that runner at second. He did not advance to third, so that's going to bring number 10, Brisky. Number four in the program, number one in his mother's heart to the plate. Are you going to use that every week? I'm going to try. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm going to try. And that looked like a strike, but called a ball. So ball one, one ball, no strikes, two outs, 8-5 CSP here in the top of the seventh. Same thing for your infielders, and just knock that thing down. And that is a well-hit ball to foul. 
That would have been a home run, Pat. Yes, it would have been. That boy got all of that sucker. That was a foul ball, but. Long out, or long, long strike. Long strike. strike, long strike, but that was well hit. I bet he doesn't throw him that pitch no, again. No, let's stay away from that pitch. Let's, let's go high and high fastball here. Let's see if he can ch catch up to it. I'd stay away from the curveball. Came right back to it. Came right back to it. What do I know? He probably <laughs> heard me and said, I'm not going to do what Kyle says. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's, that's, he's that's hanging what he out over there with my dad. I'm not doing it. <clears throat> Either way, it's no balls and two strikes here to Brisky. Oh, good pitch in the dirt there by Tate. One ball, two strikes. Home plate umpire wants to clean off that base. Again, top of the seventh, eight to five CSP. Two outs, Maple Grove's got a runner at second. Tate's ahead of the, uh, uh, two and two to the batter. Here's the two, two pitch and curveball in the dirt. Good stop by Grant to hold that runner at second. And we got a full count here to Brisky. Three balls and Two strikes. Tate's got to be smart here, and getting him to walking him to first is not going to be the end of the world. And there's a big swing and a foul ball back. He stays alive. Know who know who you have on deck, right? You're correct. Correct. We'll just be smart. This, this ball doesn't need to be a strike. And there's a base hit to Gabe, and he snags it for out number three. That was a line drive catch by Gabe at third base, and CSP manages to fight and claw their way back after being down 5 nothing here in the first inning to win it 8-5 to five in a heavyweight battle of a league game in CCAA West Division. CSP with uh, multiple runs throughout the game. Uh, Gabe Roth, after giving up a, a little bit of a rough first inning, really settled in and came back and pitched three really nice innings. And uh, and then uh, Tate came in after getting the big hit in the third inning to uh, clear the bases on a uh, stand-up uh, double. He was able to, uh, Tate was came in and, and did a nice job finishing out the last two innings. So CSP goes to 3-0. and Pat, any Boy, thoughts? Boy, you got to give this team a lot of credit going down, you know, down five in the top of the first. And they just, like you said earlier, they just kept clawing their way back to get to this. It was a great win. They, they showed that they didn't, they weren't rattled because they were down 5 nothing. They just well, kept and, working away at it. And we've talked about it. This is a good offensive team. They can hit the ball, and even down 5 nothing, they, um, you know, I think they felt pretty confident that they could uh, that they could hang with these guys. And, you know, and, and McCall, as the game went on, started to, to really get deep into the counts. Yes, and, yes. Um, and to your point, after seeing him once, maybe twice, CSP started to kind of get the – the speed down of his pitches and, and what he wanted to do. And, you know, it's always difficult um, as a pitcher when the hitters are seeing you for a second, third, fourth time. It's 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 really difficult. And uh, and CSP did a great job of of um, of getting him out of the game and and uh, getting to Brisky, who had a little bit of uh, had a little bit of tr yeah. trouble. So. Yep. Um, you and know, they were patient with Brisky. They yep. made him work. So. That's right. And we've talked about it. CSP has got a lot of depth at pitching, which it which really helps. And uh, and you know, really got two two nice outings by Gabe and and Tate today. And um, 
Now CSP comes right back. Uh, the game on Monday night that was originally yeah. scheduled for uh, Casadega Valley now goes uh, is going to be played tomorrow at 11 a.m. Yeah. Uh, so we'll be right back on the broadcast tomorrow at 11 a.m. Uh, from Casadega Valley. Another, I believe, league game for CSP. And, um, and they played a very close game with Maple Grove. And they did. Uh, so. Casadega Valley has had good programs, good baseball programs in the past. Uh, last couple of years have been um, maybe a little down, but I think it was they were building themselves back up. So I think tomorrow will be a good contest. Uh, we're going to need to bring our A game. Um, you know, CSP makes the state semifinals last year in D. Uh, they come back uh, this year, even though they're in C, still facing a lot of the same teams. And, um, you know, anytime you go that far in the playoffs, you've got a bullseye on your back. Correct. You're going to get everybody's best. And uh, so I would expect that tomorrow out of Casadega Valley. Yeah, everybody wants to beat them. Yep. Everybody and, wants to beat and them. And we're going to see, you know, just like McCall tonight, who's the ace for Maple Grove, we're going to see probably most people's ace um, as we go through throughout the year. So, um, so for... Uh, Kyle Hins uh, for Pat Catney's. I'm Kyle Hinsdale. CSP goes to three and zero on the season with an eight to five comeback victory against Maple Grove. Uh, tune in tomorrow, channel 98.9, as we broadcast from Casadega Valley. Another CSP game, another CSP win tonight. And uh, thank you for listening, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for listening to this broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball on the Channel 989 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream at channel989.org. This broadcast is presented by J. Edwards Insurance in Panama and Jamestown, Mosier Carpeting and Climber, Land Pro Equipment in Climber and Falconer, Calfish Pallet and Wood Services in Climber, The Cornerstone Restaurant in Sherman, Climber Hardware and Home Center.com, Triple E Manufacturing, Triple E MFG.com, Countertop Solutions, and by Lictus Oil and Propane and Climber, Lictus Oil and Propane.com. Tune in next time for all the action of CSP Wolfpack Baseball.